hey, hey. So I'm finally talking about it. We're going to talk about Ipsy. Um, just a little disclaimer that, of course, everything I say in this video is my own thoughts, opinions, viewpoints. Um, everything is alleged um, because I'm not going to put up, you know, receipts because I don't know how to do that. Um, I'm not that great of a video editor, to be honest. So if you've watched my past Ipsy videos, you know the issues that I've had with them and what's been going on. Um, so, okay. I signed up for Ipsy. Was it December, 2019 or December, 2020? It was when I quit unique. So it had to be 2020 because 11, like at the end of the end of November of 2020 was when I had my deadline for unique to make my quarterly sales. So it would have been December that I started, started signing up for stuff. Okay. So December, 2020, I, I mean, I had had Ipsy years ago. Um, I don't know how long ago, but I had Ipsy and Birchbox, but I ended up canceling them because either we couldn't afford them anymore or because I was tired of getting the BS items, um, or getting like hair items or nail items or fragrance items when I just wanted makeup. So, um, I had re-signed up in probably December 2020 or January of 2021 um, just for a couple of months to see how it was because I was going to start again on YouTube and people do, you know, the boxy charm unboxings. Like, what did I get this month? They do the Ipsy unboxings. What did I get? What came in my bag this month? And I thought that that was kind of interesting. It gives me, you know, a chance to try new products at a big discount um, and it gives me content. Okay. So we signed up with that in mind. Well, I signed up for that in mind. Um, at some point I did also sign Jason up because they had a free offer or something that I that I wanted. Um, through in that time, I've gotten two Ipsy Glam Bag X's. Um, now I'm only signed up for the Glam Bag, or I was only signed up for the Glam Bag. And you only have to be, but in order to get the like the Glam Bag X, the Glam Bag Plus you have to be signed up for the regular glam bag, right? So I think it was Khloe Kardashian did one, but she had a Charlotte Tilbury, um, the magic cream in there and everybody wanted that, of course. So I signed up trying, hoping to get that. I didn't end up getting that. It's a whole, it's a whole story. I believe I did a video on that anyway. Um, and then one when Huda, I can't think of her last name, but the Huda behind Huda Beauty, she, uh, pick items for a box and she did a glam bag X and I really like Huda's products. So I'm like, sure, you know, let's Huda Catan, Catan. Um, you know, let's try, why is my hair being like this today? I don't know. Um, and I know I have the same hairstyle all the time. It's, it's, it's quick and it's easy. You guys, my hair is, um, almost down to the bottom of my butt and, um, it's annoying. And in the summertime I get hot. Okay. I have thick hair. Okay. <laughs> I have a lot of hair and it's really long. So I get really hot. So I normally put it up, um, a little bit higher than this, or I normally twist it around again so that my hair only comes to like here, but I do this for videos cause I feel like this is more flattering. But anyway, um, so I had re-signed up for Ipsy just to try it for a couple of months. I ended up signing up, um, for a year because if you sign up for the service for a year, you supposedly get like months free, like it's cheaper, right? You're kind of buying it in bulk. I signed up for BoxyCharm for the year and I signed up for Ipsy for the year. And it, which is a commitment. Let me just tell you, um, you know, people get their boxes and they're like, oh, it's so disappointing. I'm canceling and I'm getting my box and I'm sitting here liking one out of five products from my BoxyCharm box. And it's like, even if I did cancel, I already, I'm already paid up until next year. So I'm still going to be getting these stupid boxes. Um, anyway, it's all about our outlook and our mindset, right? Anyway, um, so I began receiving Ipsy in either December, 2020 or January, 2021, some, somewhere in there. Okay. January, February, I think I signed up for BoxyCharm and then a couple months later, I was like, Hey, there's this, <laughs> there's Ipsy. I, you know, I used to have that. I used to really like getting product. I used, well, I had a couple of like really favorite products that I had found through Ipsy. So, 
Um, yeah, so I decided to re-sign up for it. Um, in that time frame, the first year until 2022 has been really good. It was really good. For the most part, I liked the products that I received. I One thing I really enjoyed about Ipsy is that Ipsy gives you sample size products or travel size products, which are good to have when you travel, right? I like the little skincares because I toss them in my travel bag and I have little travel, like little moisturizers that I use when I travel that, um, that I found are okay on my skin. I've obviously tried them out and then they're, they're good for my skin, skin type and everything, but they're small and compact. So you can toss them in your travel bag, right? I enjoyed that aspect of it. The makeup when you get sample sizes too. It's easy to pack a bag of sample size makeup for you to take on a trip. It just is, right? Rather than full size products. If you get a whole palette that's this big and this big or like the James Charles palette, you know, is like really huge and you try to pack that, I mean, it can be, it can be an ordeal. Um, so I liked that about Ipsy. I liked that it was sample size products too because it gives you a chance to just try out the products, right? Especially more on the makeup. With skincare, some skincare, especially serums, it takes like six weeks for you to fully really see results usually um you know it takes you a while so if they only give you a tiny tube and it has like five uses in it you're going to be able to try it but you're not going to really be able to see the results from it um but with makeup like with mascara or eyeliner or whatever and sometimes they do give you full-size products like i've gotten full-size eyeliners in there for a long time which is nice um in this past uh month i got full-size what was it setting powder. Couldn't think of the name. Couldn't think of the name. Um, and I just, I really like that because it's smaller products are obviously, you know, I would rather try it out, you know, when it's really small. And then if, if I like it, then I can go buy the full size, right? If I don't like it, then I chuck it and I don't feel as guilty about it. Okay. If you go at Walmart and you buy the little sample that, you know, they have a whole travel section and you buy like the travel size bottles of Listerine or the travel size toothpaste, if you, if they're like a dollar or $2, if you try it and you don't like it, you only spent the dollar or $2. So if you throw up, throw up, wow, throw away the whole thing, you know, it's not that big of a loss versus not that Listerine and toothpaste are that expensive, but you get, you get my point. I'm pretty sure y'all get my point. Um, you know, when you get like a $27 mascara, which was the Benefit Cosmetics, their real Magna Mascara. I actually got a sample in Ipsy Bag and that's how I fell in love with that one. Um, but I like it because it gives you a sample size. And, you know, I feel like 2021 into 2022 was pretty good until this spring. And then this spring it kind of getting, it was, it started getting kind of screwy starting in about, I want to say March, April, because by May it was already a little funny. Um, at the time that I had joined BoxyCharm and Ipsy, Ipsy, I believe had already purchased BoxyCharm and they just hadn't like integrated it yet. So BoxyCharm was still kind of a separate entity. They were, you know, owned, both owned by the same parent company, but BoxyCharm was still its own thing with its own products and its own brands and things like that. And then you had Ipsy with its own products. Okay. I had a few times where you get, and you take a beauty quiz. Okay. With these services, you take a beauty quiz and you say, this is what I want to get. This is what I don't want to get. Okay. And you check not, you don't, you don't even say that I don't want to get this. You check rarely for Ipsy. Okay. Say like you really want a lot of fragrance. So you're going to put all the time or frequently right? Whereas if you don't want fragrance, you're going to be like, rarely, like I don't, or if you don't wear nail polish, you know, you can say rarely, I don't use that. Um, or, you know, if you don't wear mascara, if you don't, whatever, like I didn't used to use blush. So blush was something that I wanted rarely because I didn't really use it. I really liked, you know, you take the beauty quiz and I had a couple of times where I was getting like, it's the gold fadden MD. I would be getting products from that line consistently and I would vote them down, vote them negatively consistently and no shade to that brand. Okay. No shade to gold. I think it's gold fadden. I want to say gold McFadden. That's not right though. I'm pretty sure it's gold fadden. Um, and no shade to that brand. I actually have tried a couple of things and they were, they were nice. They were very nice. Um, but it's skincare. 
I don't want skincare. I want makeup. So I'm going to vote makeup higher. You know, when I do my reviews, I'm going to give it a higher review than I'm going to give skincare. Because they say if you review your bag and review the products in your bag, it helps them curate the next bag, right? So like if you get a product and you give it a one out of five, which is I think the lowest you can give it, okay, then that tells them that you don't like the product. Um, and it was March, April, something of this year. I was getting gold Fadden products like every single month and it was almost the same exact product. And I'm sitting here going, you're give, you're sending me the same thing. I'm re I'm voting these down. I'm reviewing these down. I don't want these. Okay. I'm not going to use them at the time. I had moisturizers that I was using and you know, I have, I don't really wash my face. I'm, I'm, I'm doing better about that now. I'm doing better about it now, but back then, oh, I still don't do it every night because it's hard for me to hunch over a sink. Um, so, but anyways, I was getting these products like every month and I'm just like, Ipsy, you don't get it. And I messaged them and I said, you know, I'm getting these products. I got the same product. Like I, and then it would be, I get a product one month. Right. And then I get a, maybe a different product the next month. And then the next month after that. So it was every other month I would get the, like almost the exact same product. And I'm just like, like, like the exact same product. And I messaged them and I said, Hey, you know, um, you sent me these products. This goes against, you know, my beauty quiz results. And they were like, well, you know, our goal is to send you new products that you haven't tried before. So give it a try. You might find a new favorite. And I was like, I'm not going to use it though. It's kind of like, what's the point in signing up for this service if you're just going to send me products that I am not going to use? And whether that means I'm not going to use it because I already have something that I love, or whether that means I'm not going to use it because I don't like the brand, or if that means I'm not going to use it because it's not good for my skin. You would send me products like for oily or normal or combination skin, and I'm kind of like, I have dry skin. They would send me exfoliators every single month. I would get some kind of skin exfoliator, different brands, but this is, and I told them I can't use this. You know, it's, it's good for everybody, whatever your skin type, it's good for you to exfoliate your skin. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you know, to give me a new one every single month, I, I'm not using this, an exfoliating mask, like at most I would use it once a week. You know, I don't, that's not something that I use every night. And you shouldn't use that every night. Um, even if you have oily skin, that's, that's not good for your skin. Um, and they were just like, well, you know, give the products a try. We're here to send you stuff and maybe you'll find a new favorite. It was the same, you know, um, scripted response. And it was very, very disappointing. That left a bad taste in my mouth. And then as the months went on, I started noticing that, I, you know, the products that I would get for my choice, of course, would be okay. And would, some of them would go towards my beauty quiz results, right? And I would pick the one that I wanted the most, you know, whatever. I really like that. Um, I don't think I've ever had any bad, I've never had any, like, item selections where they gave you you know, 10 items to choose from. And there was no items that I wanted. Okay. Um, sometimes it was, well, there's only one product that I want, so I'm going to choose that. But most of the time it was, there's at least two. So I have to pick between the two, but, um, the products, you know, that I would choose would normally be good. Um, or at least products that I wanted to try, wanted to use, wanted to try. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I won't. That's on me because I chose it. But it seemed to me like they would send me hair products. When I said hair products, rarely. And I was getting it every month. Cleansers, rarely. Getting it every month. And you would message them and it was the same scripted response. You were supposed to send you different products, newer and different products. And try it. Maybe you'll love it. Maybe you'll find a new favorite. Blah, 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 blah. Um... And it got to the point where 
the choice product that I got was was good. That was something I wanted to try. The rest of the products, it was a 50-50 chance. You know, sometimes they totally nailed it and sent me products that I was like, wow, this is a good choice for me. Like you did a good job. Most of the time though, mm -mm, no. And I started noticing that the products that would be put in my bag would be stuff that maybe went along with my beauty quiz results, like, or with my answers, my beauty preferences, right? So it went along with that, but the products that they knew that I really wanted would be in the pop-up or in the add-ons. Like they knew I really wanted the products that you're like every, every month or like frequently, super frequently, like eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara, um, that kind of thing they would put in the add-ons and the pop-up. And I started thinking and I told my husband, I said, you know what? I think they're doing this on purpose. I think they're giving me shitty items in my bag that might go along with my preferences, right? But are products that I only want sometimes or rarely, okay? But it's not rarely if you're receiving it every single month. Okay, Ipsy. Okay, thanks. Um, and then making me then purchase the products that I really wanted. So I stopped purchasing. I just stopped. They had some really good sales. At one point it was like two fifty for an item, right? Then it went up to three dollars. Now it's up to three fifty for single items. Sometimes they have um, items sets for five dollars, so you could get like one item for five dollars, depending on the value of the item, right? If it's like a high value item, they might put it the single item at five dollars. Otherwise, it's like two sample size for five dollars, which comes out to about two fifty a piece. Okay. Or that's for the add-ons, I think. And then they might have it in the pop-up too. I don't remember. And then the pop-up is usually like three fifty per item. So, you know, you have the opportunity. And of course they have other products at other values too. Um, I did order some Bay Blash from them because they had it discounted at $18. And that shit is expensive, but it freaking works. I swear by Bay Blash. If you haven't tried it, please, please try it. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I have a referral link. If I find one, if I have one, I'll pop it in the, in the description. Okay. Just trust me on this. It's freaking expensive, but it works. And, and they do sales on their website sometimes. And you can sometimes get it through BoxyCharm and you can get it sometimes through Ipsy. So, uh, so there you go. Um, <laughs> but if you want lashes like mine, they aren't looking that great today because I tried a lash primer and I haven't been using lash primer. Which is funny because supposedly lash primer is supposed to make them look better, not worse. The real tea. But um, I don't use fake lashes. These are 100% my lashes and it's 100% because of a lash. 150%. Um, the enhancing serum and the conditioner. I use both of them religiously. But anyway, I had noticed, you know, shitty items in my bag. So then I would have to buy the items. Which, you know, if you sign up for Ipsy at $12 per month and you're like, okay, I'm going to get, you know, five sample size products. Maybe you'll get one or two full size, right? For $12 a month. That's not a bad deal. But then when you add up the pop-up and the add-ons and it's like, you know, if you're spending $12 just for the bag and then you spend, they usually give you a free gift after $25. Okay. So let's, let's say in the add-ons you add... I don't know, let's say in either the add-on or the pop-up, not both, but let's say in one of them you spend the $25, okay? So now you have spent $37 that month. Um, and what you get in your bag could be mediocre, right? But then what you purchase, obviously, if you purchased it, it's because you wanted it, right? I am logic, I know. Um, <laughs> what a novel concept. Um... I started noticing that I told my husband and so I stopped purchasing. So whatever they would send me is what they would send me. And it was at that point that the review started, started getting a little worse because, um, you know, like I said, Ipsy is just, it was kind of like 75% of the time they would, they would nail it. You would get three out of five products that you would really want to try. And then there's that 25% of the time where you would just get really shitty bags. But then it came to, it was more often than not, you were just getting like stuff that it's like, if you marked it rarely, they took that as, okay, you want one every single month. Whereas if you wanted it frequently, they took that as, okay, we'll send it to you twice a year. 
Okay. And don't get me started on that because that's, that's a whole nother issue in and of itself. Um, so I started thinking about canceling. I looked up, um, when I was due and it was sometime in June and the yearly thing was like $116, 113, really not that expensive. If you add up, you know, $12 a month times 12 months, that's $144 rounded up to 150. Okay compared to like $115, right? Really not. The yearly is, is a good deal. You get a good deal on it. Um, the other issue I have with that, by the way, and I just want to bring this up because, because it's, it's a concern of mine. Okay. So if you sign up for the glam bag, okay, not the glam bag plus, um, and then you say, okay, I want the Ipsy, the, the glam bag X. If you, if you get the glam bag X, in a month, you don't get your regular bag. So if you're somebody who pays for a year and I messaged them about this and they, they didn't seem to know the answer either. So um, because my question was, if I'm paying for 12 bags, Am I going to get 12 bags in a year if I sign up for the Glam Bag Plus or the Glam Bag X? Because I should get a discount on the Glam Bag X because the $12 that's going towards my Glam Bag, I'm not getting that Glam Bag, right? You pay for it in a year and they're like, oh, well, you'll still get the same amount of bags. You'll still get the same amount. And see, I think, I think what they mean is you'll get the same amount of bags. They just won't have products in them. So... Like if you pay for a year of Ipsy bags, that's 12 bags, right? And two out of the two months out of that year. Okay. Which was what happened to me. So then you're only getting 10 months of regular glam bags. You're paying for 12 at a discount and you're getting 10 glam bags because the two months that you selected the glam bag X you do not get your regular glam bag. But instead of getting the regular glam bag with products, they will just include a glam bag with the glam bag X and call it the same thing. So you're basically paying the extra money for just the bags, which I, I think is a technicality. And I, 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 I like I said, I, brought, I messaged them because the math wasn't adding up to me. My husband is a, a math guy. Okay. I'm not really a math person. Okay. I'm not somebody who can do quick math, but when it comes to money, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. I'm a red personality. I'm money motivated. So a bitch, you best bet that I'm going to have my eye on that money. Okay. And when you're messing with somebody's bag and with their money, you better be prepared to defend yourself and it better be legit. But I started noticing that those were some issues that I had. Um, going into June, we had, at the end of May, we had a huge water leak at our apartment that we were living in. Um, it was bad enough that they wanted us to, we had to move out in order for them to fix it because it was going to take them a long time to fix it. Like, they couldn't work around our stuff. Like, we had to actually leave because they had to redo everything and they were afraid that there was a leak underneath the floor. So they were going to have to do all of this stuff and it was just easier. Okay. For us to move out. Um, then they could renovate it and then charge more for the apartment, but that's a whole nother, it's a whole nother thing. Um, so at the time it was kind of, we needed to save money. I was not happy with Ipsy. Um, <laughs> so I had, canceled right before June, I think, or right after June build. Yeah, no, I had, I canceled the year and then I restarted it. So I canceled my subscription and then I restarted it. Okay. I didn't get to select my product. I had selected the Nomad Cosmetics, that, that golden green color, um, Gallows Eve. And it showed in my glam bag that that's what I was going to get, right? It was the same glam bag that I was going to get previously. It's just that now I was being charged full price for the glam bag instead of, you know, getting the discount when you pay for a year. 
and my bag came and I did a, a review on it. I did an unbagging and in the, the unbagging, I was like, this doesn't seem right. I don't think this seems right. And then it occurred to me that what product I was supposed to get, there was one specific product that I was supposed to get and it was not in there. And then I was like, yeah, this bag is completely incorrect. So we had those issues. Um, and you know, when you message them, Hey, you know, I got the wrong bag. Typically like I've not had any super bad issues with customer service. Like I haven't had any bad things to say. The people were not rude to me really. Um, other than being a little condescending when they're like, Oh, well we're sending you new products for you to try. So you might find a new favorite. <laughs> you might want to try it. You might find something that you love. And I'm just kind of like, don't tell me what I'm going to love. Um, that really bothered me. And so of course I contacted them about my June bag and I said, Hey, um, I didn't get it all. Like I'm missing some items. Like this is not what I was supposed to receive, what I should have received. And I had screenshot what, what Ipsy said was supposed to be in my bag because I'm always paranoid, right? Like I'm that person who screenshots everything because I'm afraid companies mostly are going to take advantage and then are going to say that I'm going to lie, you know? So I screenshot it in case by chance they went in and changed my Ipsy bag to show the items that I had actually received versus what I was supposed to receive. And, um, she's like, Oh, you know, what items were you missing? And I sent, you know, the screenshot and I said, this is what I'm missing. I, apparently I had also redeemed some points for a, um, toner from youth to the people, which I have been trying to get for a long time. And I think they actually charged me for it. I'm not 100% sure. I just know that in June I was charged $16, um, for my membership and, Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and the toner came and it had stuff like floating in it. I haven't used it. I'll probably, um, if you watch the June video, I think it was the June video. It might've been July or it might've been the replacement June bag. It had to be the replacement June bag when they sent it. And if you watch that video, I'll show you like the toner, like it has like little flakes floating in it. No, it's a green tea toner. So, or some kind of tea toner, right? So when you have tea, in a skincare ingredient, it can cause flakes because when you make tea, it you're making it from the tea leaves, right? So that could happen. But I also have another toner that I got from Walmart for $3.50 on clearance that I love, works amazing. And it's a green tea toner and there's no flakes in it. So, you know, I've heard things about getting people getting expired products. I've heard things about people getting um, products that have been used and returned or products that had been opened um, that were in incorrect packaging, like all kinds of things, you guys. And I hadn't had really anything bad. I mean, obviously, like when you're getting makeup and skincare, not everything's going to work for you, but you can't always, it's not always the, the product, right? Sometimes it's, it's just that it's incompatible with your skin. Like there's nothing wrong with the product. If somebody else used it, somebody else could use it and love it, but you know, the product's not contaminated. It's fine. It's just that it didn't work well with your skin. Um, after this whole issue and I did not get the eyeshadow that I wanted and I forgot to cancel in July. So they charged me. So I was like, well, I guess I'm getting, I guess I'm getting a bag in July. And it was again, I think it was like 16 something. Um, I was not too happy with the items that I received. Like it was, Um, Ipsy for me, the last couple of months has been a shit show, but I was like, well, you know, that's, that's content. That's a video that I can post, you know, that's more products that I can try. I love trying new products. 
um, especially different makeup products that love trying new things. And, and you, I mean, you never know, you could find something that you really love. Um, I just don't like it when people are using that as an excuse to give you shitty products or brands that you've never freaking heard of. Um, when you're promised, you know, you sign up for Ipsy and they show Charlotte Tilbury and they show Huda and they show Fenty and they show Tarte and they show Too Faced and all of these high end brands. And then what you end up getting is knockoffs. Okay. These brands who, some of them are really good. Some of them are indie brands and they happen to be really good, but some of them aren't. Okay. They're just not. And I feel like that's, that's definitely misleading to people. You know, it's just something that doesn't sit well with me as a, as a product consumer, you sign up for an Ipsy bag and you know that usually you can pick one of the products for the regular glam bag. I think for the glam bag plus you get to choose three out of five, um, which is still pretty good, but then they raise the price on it. So it's kind of not worth it regardless. Okay. Even when you're not getting, even when you're not being able to choose the products yourself, you do take the beauty preferences and I feel like they, I feel like they glance at the preferences and then chuck it out the window. Um, I will say that I think it was in my June bag. I got a pink lips concealer or it was the July bag. I don't remember. I got a pink lips concealer. I was so excited. Never heard of this brand before. Right. But I love trying out concealers. Okay. It's, it's, it's listen, I like trying out makeup, any kind of makeup. My favorite is mascara, but any kind of makeup. Okay. And I was so excited. I was like, well, this is some concealer, you know? And, um, I go to try it and it is for like cocoa skin, like dark tan skin. And I'm just like, I don't think this bag was even meant for me. I think this bag, and then you look at the other products in the bag and the eyeshadow palette had this brilliant yellow, which I think I just reviewed not too long ago. The palette was really pretty. However, I do think that it was put together for darker skin. I think that it would look probably a lot better on darker skin than it did on me. And um, definitely the concealer would look better on darker skin. Um, but because I've opened it and squeezed some out, you know, I'm kind of like, I could maybe use it as contour. I don't know. And it kind of makes me wonder, like, did they get, and I always check my bags, right? Like I always check my bags when I get it to make sure that it's addressed to me because you never know who around you is getting a boxy charm or an Ipsy or whatever, right? You don't, you never know. So Amazon misdelivers stuff all the time. We used to get packages in my old apartment. There was this poor girl. She lived in an apartment like two doors down from us and her name also happened to start with an A. And I think the postman, instead of actually looking at the name in the apartment that it went to, saw the A and went at Ashley and put it in our mailbox or put it outside our door. And, um, it got to the point where we were messaging our landlord so often that the girl had to go in and she had to yell at the post office. And, and I don't know if it's the post office's fault. I just know that, you know, things get misdelivered. So I always double check it before I open it because I'm like, I don't want to open it and get somebody else's stuff. And, you know, you've touched it, you've used, used it, tried it out, whatever, swatched it. Um, so it was addressed to me. So it makes me wonder who got my bag, who got my bag, who got my bag. Um, and whoever it is, I hope, I hope that you're enjoying it. You know, I don't, I don't think we'll ever know, but I know that that concealer, you know, I am very, I'm a pale ass bitch. Okay. I am as Teresa's dad says, I am like uncooked chicken. Okay. Um, I'm like a bag of, what is it? Bones and teeth. Okay. I'm very, very pale, incredibly pale. Like I'm the lightest when you have a shade range, I'm usually at the lightest end. Okay. And this color was just, you know, even if I was tan, it was too dark for me, which I don't tan because when I was a kid, I would get out in the sun and I would sunburn. So we don't, we don't do that. We don't do that. Um, so there's that issue. Um, 
I canceled for the end of July. I had until July 31st to cancel it, you know, otherwise they were going to charge me for August. So I went, of course, and canceled it. And when you hit cancel, you know, you can select two reasons, which I did. And it, I, Teresa's dad did a whole video on this about how she wasn't able to cancel Ipsy um, without saying that it was her fault and not their fault. I was able to say that it was their fault. So when you go to cancel, of course, the, um, you know, the continue your glam bag or cancel cancellation or whatever um, is in big, bold letters. And then continue to cancel your subscription is right below it in tiny little letters, right? Because they, they don't want you to cancel. Um, and then you go to a screen and they're like, okay, but hang on please don't leave. Like we will send you your next, your next bag is on us. It's, it's, it's totally on us and um, you, you can get a free bag. And so I was like, oh, you got me, you know, August is my birthday month, you know, coming up in a few days, I'm going to be a 37 year old lady. And um, if you know, you know, um, and if you know where that comes from, put it in the comments, please. I want to see who knows. Um, so I took the free bag. And the next couple of days, I was thinking about it, and I was like, I do want to get a free bag, but do I really trust them not to bill me? Not to tell me I'm getting a free bag, but then still secretly bill me, right? So, I canceled. I canceled. I completely canceled my subscription. And, um... I was like, okay, you know, it's whatever I did before I, before I canceled my subscription, I did go in because I had like 3000 points, 2,800 points, something like that. I did go in and redeem all of the points that I had, um, for two different brush sets that if you'll see in my August, the bag that they actually did send me for August for free, um, actually did include those. I was, I was really worried that we were going to have issues. I was like, I don't care about the free bag. You don't have to send me the free bag, but you better send me the stuff I re redeemed with my product points because I went through and all the bags that I could possibly review products on, I went and reviewed it and got the points for them. Got all the points that I could because I knew, you know, once you cancel, you maybe can't do that or whatever. So I did that and it did, they, both of the things that I redeemed, um, did come with my August bag. So no shade there. They actually did get that right. It's kind of funny how they get it right after I canceled. Um, and I'm in some Ipsy groups on Facebook and people are just not happy. Y'all people are not happy with Ipsy. Um, with BoxyCharm too, the latest BoxyCharm box. I got a repeat of the Alley Oop. It's a highlighter, blush, bronzer, all in one. It's a cute little thing. And the blush is to die for. I mean, the blush is, it is amazing, you guys. But um, a lot of people got duplicates. They got that same product. But um, when they would email on BoxyCharm, they were like, well, actually, you got this shade before. And this month, we sent you this shade. So technically, technically we did send you a different product and it's just like they're like you can try out the new shade and I'm like is nobody buying this I don't blame them the highlighter where is it I couldn't find it on my skin the bronzer looked like baby poop on my skin it was the blush perfect it was really great awesome I have nothing negative to say about it it was a very very nice blush but the other two products two out of the three no no ma'am and it just so happened that I actually got the same shade, um, which I may, since I am in BoxyCharm for a year, I may actually contact them and get at least like a credit or something like that. Well, actually they did. They emailed me, which I always hate getting emails from BoxyCharm because it means one of two things. Okay. It means either A, they messed up your color match like they did with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush foundation. I was so excited to get this foundation. And then they sent me a foundation. I did a video on it. Um, it's way too dark. It looks like it's not dark enough. It's not as dark as the concealer I got from Ipsy, but it's dark enough that, you know, if I wanted to tan my whole body, I estimate that I could use that foundation like that. I estimate that's what my skin might look like with a good tan, right? It was maybe a little dark. I don't know. I don't know what my skin would look like tan because I've never tanned before. Um, 
But yeah. So. Give me a little warm in here. Um, so I canceled it. And like I said, I, it was, it came down to, do I really trust them not to bill me? And the answer was no, I don't. I don't. And when I made that decision, it was just like, Ipsy, I, I, you know, when you make that decision, I just let go of Ipsy. I completely let go of it. Um, I did happen to get my free bag for August and that's wonderful. And they sent me the stuff that I redeemed points for. That's again, also wonderful. Too little, too late, Ipsy. You lost my business. You lost a semi-good reputation. Um, I will tell you that I know that Ipsy bought BoxyCharm, but why, why on God's green earth does Ipsy think that people who have BoxyCharm want Ipsy's crap refreshments? Why are they pushing that so hard? I noticed that a couple months back, I think it was in May, that they had refreshments now on the BoxyCharm website. You could sign up to get refreshments, which I thought was an Ipsy thing. And you could also purchase it in the Drop Shop, Mega Drop Shop, the Charmer, all of that stuff. You can purchase it. And I'm just sitting here going, now, I know there are people who love the Ipsy refreshments, and I'm no, no shade to you. I just, I think Ipsy's peddling their own products is what I think. And I think that, um, I don't think it's bad. I don't think they're bad products. I've never tried them. I've not heard any bad things about them. I haven't heard any good things about them, to be honest. Um, I just don't like something being pushed on me. And especially something that was Ipsy specific is now on BoxyCharm's website. And I know that they're integrating and supposedly they're going to become one company soon, which scares the crap out of me because it's like, well, there goes BoxyCharm. There goes the credibility of BoxyCharm. I also have noticed that in some of the BoxyCharm sales, you will find products that are in Ipsy sales too, except for a higher price tag. There was a nail polish that you could get for $3.50 on Ipsy's flash sale add-on pop-up, whatever they want to call it. But on the BoxyCharm drop shop, it was like $5, $6. There was one product I saw from box on that was on BoxyCharm's website that you could get on Ipsy's. It was one of the two for five things, right? Or it was a refreshment thing that are normally like $5 each. And they had it priced at $9 on BoxyCharm. And I was like, are you kidding me? Are you joking? Ipsy. You know, I understand acquiring a business, but here's the, here's the deal. BoxyCharm and Ipsy have two different audiences. You have two different demographics. Okay. Sometimes people have both. Sometimes people pick one or the other. Okay. And there are brands that were, you know, Ipsy says you're going to get name brands, but you don't. You end up getting indie brands, which is fine. Some of them end up being really good. And I think it's good to get those names out there, right? Like, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think Ipsy should market itself as, you know, you're not, you're not going to get known brand name stuff, but you're still going to get products from, you're going to get products from indie companies that you still might love that might be as good as or better than these, these brand name products. Okay. Um, with BoxyCharm, it's been going downhill. Um, I've noticed more Ipsy brands in the BoxyCharm boxes and it's, <laughs> I, I just, I, I have no words. So that is my experience with Ipsy and most of the story, I can't think of anything else. I didn't make any notes for this. Um, typically for videos like this, I would make notes, but I just wanted to come on here and film and like be genuine and like say, you know, about it, talk about it because honestly there's not much, but then it's, there's just, I have just a lot of feelings about it and I have very strong feelings about it. And I feel like it needs to be said. Ipsy is screwing up. Will they ever lose all their subscribers? No. 
they won't. And I don't want to say that I wish them to go bankrupt. You know, of course, we want to wish all companies, you know, success and everything else. But I will tell you this, if they don't get their crap together, they could very well tank. I mean, it's, I think if people complain enough on social media and let it be known that they've canceled their Ipsy because of X, Y, and Z reasons, brands won't want to work with them. They will learn that people despise Ipsy for whatever reason. They don't want to work with Ipsy. Um, so I do, I don't want to say that I want them to go bankrupt. I don't want to say that, but at the same time, it's kind of like y'all screw up. And when you, you miss a product, just like Boxstarm, if they don't include a product in your box that you were supposed to get, it could be a product that you were super psyched to get. And now you're not going to get it. And, uh, oh, guess what? They don't have any more of it. So what a bummer that is. So then you get stuck with just whatever. Or they give you points. Or they give you, um, I don't want to say charms, but or they give you like a, a coupon code for a credit with BoxyCharm in their drop shops. And it's just... I will say that when I messaged them about my June bag, um, they were like, no problem. Like we'll get a replacement bag sent out. And I was, cause I really wanted the June bag because those, the bags itself was really cool. I wanted one of them. Right. She's like, well, well those are limited supply. We only have, that. I was like, so I paid for it, but I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get it, you know? And, um, then she was like, well, I'll send you. What did she say? 2,200, some, some amount of points, right. To make up for it. And then I had to email back and forth just to get her to add the points because I was checking the points because I knew I was going to redeem it because at that point I already knew I was going to cancel. Okay. That was pretty much already decided whether I like consciously knew it or not. I knew I was going to cancel. The decision was made then. Okay. And it was like pulling teeth to get her to add those. And I had to copy the email and she goes, we're, she didn't say that I was lying about it. She just would kind of avoid it when I brought it up that she said she was going to send me points. And I had to actually quote the email where she said, I'm going to add blank amount of points to your account before it was actually done. And, um, you know, that's another thing with customer service. Ipsy. You, I mean, you got to do better. And then on BoxyCharm, because, and I'm going to discuss this on here because Ipsy now owns BoxyCharm. So it's on there. Ever since Ipsy merged more with BoxyCharm and ever since we've seen the, you know, the refreshments have been on the BoxyCharm site and, you know, things like that. I cannot access my beauty quiz on BoxyCharm. I can't. I click on it and it says it's an invalid link. I've tried on my phone. I've tried on the computer. I've tried on different browsers. It does not work for me. I messaged them and said, Hey, I've tried this every which way and it doesn't work. And they said, did you try it on your mobile? Yes. Did you try it on a different browser? Yes. Did you try it on a laptop or a desktop? Yeah, I did. And their response was, okay, well, we'll put in a ticket. We don't know what's going on. And so I haven't been able to change my beauty quiz answers on BoxyCharm for about six months now. And um, let me tell you something. When it comes time for me to renew that BoxyCharm, I'm going to kind of remember that. I'm already looking at other boxes that I can get. Um, there are a couple boxes that are about the same price as BoxyCharm. Those are my issues. Um... Let me know what issues you've had with Ipsy and BoxyCharm. My phone has been kind of messing up this whole time, so I apologize if I was in the middle of saying something. I don't know what I was saying. Um, but that's, that's you know, it... Oh, I remember. I was talking about the beauty quiz. <laughs> um, but I haven't been able to update that. And I usually change it between summer and fall. In fall, I want, like, a full coverage foundation... Um, whereas in the summertime, I usually switch to a BB cream. I'm not able to change that. 
and that upsets me. I'm already looking at other boxes. Like I said, there's a couple, they're about the same price as BoxyCharm and you get, there's one of them that's about the same price, but you are guaranteed to get different products every single month. So, um, and I, I don't want to say the names of the boxes in this video. That will be for a different video. Um, but if you, if you Google like beauty subscription boxes, tons of them come up, you guys. So if BoxyCharm keeps it up, then we're going to be doing a BoxyCharm video after my subscription ends. Cause I don't want them fucking with my subscription. <laughs> I don't want to risk that, but let me know if you've had any issues with Ipsy. If you contacted customer care and what they said, what was the result of that? I am very, very eager to know. Um, and feel free to vent in the comments. Like I, Ipsy's it's, it's trash. Ipsy is absolutely going to trash. Going to shit. It's, 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 it's going down. It's going down at a speed that is so fast. It's unreal. So let me know if you have had any issues, how, if, if that was resolved, how it was resolved, like the video. If you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video because you never know what kind of content is going to pop up over here on this channel. I thank you so, so much for bearing with me and watching until the end. Um, I love you very, very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Really? This whole time you've been messing up, but that you don't, you don't end? Really? Really? Can I hit the button? Can I hit the right button? Mm -mm. Nope.